Hey everybody, yeah, curious here. Welcome back to the long dark. Oh no. I hate that sound. It's becoming more and more frequent too, unfortunately. That's okay. I've done a little bit of research about the uh the uh cured hides that we have out here, and I guess they deteriorate while they're curing. Uh once they're cured, they stay at that level. They stay at that level. So we have nothing to worry about as far as getting the coat done before they rot. Uh, I also sent a little request that maybe Hinterland could add the <laughs> add a uh, feature to disassemble uh, a snow shelter once it's been ruined. Because it makes no sense that I have to just leave it there and just stare at it. So anyway, here we are. Back in the uh, cabin here. Sounds like it's horrible outside. Let's take a peek outside and see exactly how horrible. But if this is the case, then maybe we'll do a little bear hunting in this episode. And, uh, I'm just going to grab these. Bring them inside. Just so I don't have them all sitting out there. No particular reason. Just giving me something to do while the weather's horrible. So yeah, those are 22. Shouldn't, shouldn't be a big deal. Also, I made a little bit of an oopsie. I accidentally deleted my footage from uh, Generation Zero for the like the next three episodes I was going to have. I'm thinking about starting that whole series over. Just getting rid of the old series and just starting from scratch now that I have figured out some of the uh, quirks about it. And I'm sure that there's been some uh, updates. I haven't even checked because I've been off for about two weeks now. But I'm sure they've addressed some of the bu major bugs that I complained about. So I think maybe I'll just start that whole series over again. And, uh... Yeah. I think I'll have a lot more fun if I do that. Because I really I really want to like the game. And I do like the game. It's just... I think that, uh... A lot of the uh, quirks just are a little frustrating. But maybe they've been uh, fixed, so... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I, I, I really screwed the poo pooch on that when I... I accidentally hit delete when I shouldn't have fingers got happy okay so here we are let's take a look and see what day it is 59 okay day 59 so let's take a look at our skills as well harvesting's up to four man that harvesting's going up fast i didn't even realize i was doing that much harvesting cooking's at three we need to get that up to five won't take too long we got one and a half more levels to go and then we can start eating our dangerous parasite ridden meats with, with complete immunity and eat 0% uh, cans of whatever without having to worry about botulism or whatever. Uh, fire starting. Yeah, we'll get there. Uh, ice fishing's going up nicely. Rifle. Yeah, that'll never go up. Archery to mending to. Okay. So let's see here. It's uh, mid-morning. Not tired at all. Let's see if I can find some tasks to do here. I don't think I really have any... I guess I can repair my hat. I do have... Let's do that. Let's see if I can just repair the hat. It's due for a repair. I don't want to lose that. Not a big deal. We could always build another one, but... We have enough things that we need to build. Including that uh, wolf skin coat. So... Did I actually talk myself through an entire blizzard without having to advance time? Getting better and better at this YouTube thing. Okay this monologue type thing. Okay, um... Yeah, it should take us up to 100% if I'm successful. So, let's get on it. And it's done. I'd rather, I, I'm hoping we can go do a little bear hunt. That should be fun. It's gonna be dangerous. Um, let's get out there while the getting's good. Get low till the whistle blows. Oh, bear. I, I, I have a feeling like all the animals have just disappeared. It seems like you don't seem to see many animals anymore. Now, part of me wants to hunt the bear over that way because it's more open near uh, Misanthrop. But part of me thinks it's better to do it here because then I don't have to transport the meat all the way over here. Uh, and the hide and all that stuff. What's the temp out here anyway? Oh, negative 25. No wonder I'm cold. Okay, I don't see the bear out here at the moment. So, what I'll do is I'll run back inside. 
he's got to be in the area. He probably just came out of his cave after the uh, blizzard ended, so. He's probably over that way somewhere. So give him about an hour. He'll probably be in the area. Wow, it's really cold. Might just be too cold for him. He might just be like, screw this. I'm just going to stay inside because I can hibernate and not have to worry about cabin fever at all. It still looks pretty nasty outside like a blizzard could kick up again. So I guess what we'll do is we will go ahead and do another one of these. I think I need another rabbit pelt, probably another cured gut. And we'll repair these while we're at it. 26 minutes. That's a good amount of time. Huh. I never thought I'd be dying from starvation. You're not actually dying from starvation. It's okay. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah, you're fine. I don't know what she's talking about. What's our uh, feels like temperature higher? Or I'm sorry, our warmth bonus. 32 and 16. That's pretty good. Yeah, considering we don't even have a wolf skin coat yet. Um, honestly, these aren't too bad. But we can do better. I wish I could find an ear wrap somewhere. Alright, let's head up, head back out. I digress. And... Negative five. Not too bad. Dead guy birds. Wait for the bear. Not seeing him anywhere. Man. Well. This is how I bear hunt. Stick my head out for a couple seconds and go back in. Hmm. He always makes his appearance when I'm not ready for him, but uh, he's never there when I really actually want him to show up. It's cured. I just need to, uh, for the for that bear roll. I only need two, right? Is this what I want to make first? Yeah, I know the warmth bonus on that's really good. Seven point two. Can't remember how. That's fifty nine hours. Jeez. Two bear hides. Cloth and six cured guts. May not run for much. Yeah, it does slow you down quite a bit. Uh, Alright. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Maybe fish. Now, someone in the comments mentioned, hey, what are you doing? You got all that food. Y yeah, I, I do have all this food. Um, the problem is I can't eat it. Well, I can, but I have to eat it in very, very small batches. Otherwise, I get parasites. Because my cooking skill isn't that high yet. So. All right, I think what I'll do is I'll start a fire. I'll get warmed up, do a little fishing. Maybe come out here, chop up some wood as well. I was kind of hoping that it would... This would clear, so I wouldn't have to waste another match. No afflictions, so we can eat some of this safely. That'd be a bigger one here, right? Nope. No big pieces? No, those are all training pieces. Grab it. Yeah. They're all pretty small. Hmm. Alright. Well... This is the best place to wait for the bear. So I'm just going to go ahead and cook or uh, do some fishing. So let's get a fire going. Make sure that I have some. There we go. A little bit of wood. Starting to feel numb. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm going to get you warmed up here in a second. No, we don't do it that way. Not anymore, we don't. Alright, well, back to what we were doing in the last episode, but this time, really hoping that bear comes along. Uh-oh, uh-oh, hypothermia risk? 
Well, I think I'm gonna have to switch torches just to play it safe. I should have. I think I have another torch, don't I? Yeah, I do. Oh yeah, I have that really, really good one. I picked up up off the dead guy. Let's give it another try. Tell you about a weird question I got from one of my officers. So I get we're in the middle of a war ceremony, and one of my officers is like, "Hey, I got a I got an ORC question for you." I'm like, "Oh, okay." So after after we get done with the ceremony, I'm like, "Well, what is it?" And uh, they're like, "So is it illegal for someone to be carrying around someone else's uh, urine?" I'm like. Okay, that's a weird one. Never had that one before. <laughs> Never. Mm, tell me more. <laughs> exactly how are they? What, what are they doing with this urine? Uh, and uh, they basically said there's a traffic stop. Smelt weed from the car. Got the guy out. He smelled like weed. Didn't have anything on him. It was just residual. And they were going to uh, search the car because, you know, they, you can do that when you have a smell of weed coming from the car. You're allowed to search it. Uh, the passenger compartment. And, uh, he, uh, they, they ask him the, the usual question. Is there anything in the car I want to, that you need to let me know about before I go searching it? You know, I don't want to be stuck by needles or anything like that. He's like, no, no, nothing in the car. No drugs, no nothing like that. Uh, I, I will tell you there is a bottle of urine in the car that's not mine. Well, excuse me? Well, yeah, I, uh, I'm an employer and, uh, I don't want my uh, employees to. I have some really good employees, but they're, they're gonna they're gonna piss dirty basically for marijuana if uh, if I don't help them out, and I don't want to lose them because of that. It's like, okay, are you <laughs> you're not working for a government agency or anything like that? I imagine, and since you're the employer, you're kind of just. I don't understand the context of it, but yeah, no. There's, I told him I said uh, I guess until an act actually until that's used for a specific purpose. Uh, there's not even a way that we could determine whether it's legal or not, so, you know, <laughs> we'd have to wait for him to use the pee before we could determine if he used the pee in a legal or illegal fashion. Plus, if he did it at a, uh, let's say he did it at a, uh, a facility in a different city, that would be their jurisdiction, it wouldn't be ours, so we, we wouldn't even have jurisdiction at that point. So right now he's just carrying around a bottle of someone else's pee. Nope, completely legal. Very strange, but legal. So, all right, here we go. Let's uh, bust up this hole. Anyway, weird stuff I get asked. I don't, hmm. But they made the right decision. They were like, yeah, we, we didn't, uh, we didn't do anything with them. I'm good. So, anyway, let's see if we can get a piece of coal in here. There we go. Let's get that temp up because we're starting to feel cold out here. We're still cold. If you couldn't tell, we were still hypothermic. So, there we go. Should be feeling better now. Up to 43 degrees. Let's do a little bit of ice fishing while we wait for Mr. Bear to come along here. Power to fish. Let's start. I think we could probably do two. Let me check. Eh. Hold on. Let me see here. I'll do this and then I let it. Yeah, I'll just. Let's just do. A... Let's just do an hour. All right, a trout. Kind of heavy. Hypothermia cured. Feels like 56 in here. I like that. Six minutes until boiled. Might as well just pass time. Get that new pot started here. Still no bear, huh? I'm a little worried. Now, I know that they're supposed to, animals are supposed to get more scarce as time goes on here, but my goodness. That means I won't be able to run around without having to worry about running into anything. That, that's good, at least. Um, 51 minutes until melt. Let's do two hours. All right. Wait, thought I heard something. I think that was a sizzle. Shoot, that was the sizzle from this. That's what it was. Okay. I wonder if I can see. Uh, I can't really. Maybe. Ours of fish. Let's try one. Uh oh. I gotta go. Hold on. Let me pause this real quick. Be right back. Mom's calling. She takes priority. 
All right, I'm back. <laughs> my mom was worried about me. I came home early last night because I had a my stomach was just upset, man. It just wasn't. It was hurting pretty bad. So anyway, she uh she knew about that, so she's just calling to make sure everything was good. And I hope I don't get a copyright <laughs> hit for that because uh, I don't know if you guys could hear the background music or not. If you could. Wait a minute, was that unsafe? No, no, hold on. I should have. Should be all po potable right now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all potable. Oh, why am I thirsty? Silly, silly me. Don't need that. Don't need that type of drama in my life. Okay, I think I can see pretty good here if I kind of angle myself for Just like that. Gives me a pretty good view. All right. Nice. I'm digging on the trouts. Uh-oh. Well, you know what we're going to run into now as soon as we try to... Uh-oh. Did we run out of... We did. We're going to leave that there. Let's, let's head on in. We don't want that. We want the flare. A little stinky. You know what? I should drop this back here. I don't know why I'm carrying this over here with me. Alright, where was it? Did get a little bit distracted? And that's what happens. I got five fish. Wow. I hate I hate, just hate this one. No, uh, no. Oh. Take that one and uh, that one and that one. I think we'll be good there. Let's go have a nice dinner. We're a bit... Yeah, we're not quite tired. As tired as I'd like to be. Hold on one second. Oop. Didn't mean to do that. bit annoyed that I don't see the bear anywhere. Alright, let's get inside. Okay, so. We're cold. It's cold out there. We're warming up in here. Let's uh, see if I can maybe do another little... Do I want to do my... I probably... Let's see if I can repair the bedroll. Yeah, let's give that a shot. That'd be nice to have repaired. Cost two cloth, so hopefully we get it first time here. There we go. 100% bedroll. Nice to have. And we got a little bit of food here. And plenty of water for the night. So, hmm. Man, I really don't like... really don't like going out here, but... I'm thinking I might... Let me check, check on something here. I might want to make a couple more fishing tackle since I'm enjoying that quite a bit at the moment while we're waiting for the bear to show up. So I got one. Is that all I have? Really? That's all the fishing tackle I have? I know I have more hooks and stuff in here. Oh, no, I have more. Okay, so I, can't, I don't need to go make more fishing tackle. We're good there. What I can do is I can just grab a couple. They're super lightweight, so no worries there. Maple saplings. Not quite tired enough to really go outside, I don't think. Hmm. What I could do is I could bust up this table. I could go next door and bust up some tables. Get some, uh... Get some wood. This way. It's 9 degrees, which actually isn't too hateful. Uh... How much would it be to break this up? How much would it take? An hour and fifty. That's going to freeze me. Yeah, even in this temp, I could start a fire, but then I, I'd use another match, and I really don't want to use that. I'd rather just wait for a clear day. Um, pretty much tore this place to pieces. Yeah, it's an empty cabin at this point. Except for the bunks. 
a little stinky because of the food I'm carrying around. Ooh, there's a cabinet there. No, nope, I can't bust that up. I can bust this up, though. It's going to take two hours. and If I start now, I wonder if it'll let me. Let's give it a try. See what happens. Mm, did I get any? I wonder if I got any. Nope. Well, it's okay. It did tire me out a little bit. Let me get the right weapon out here. There we go. Where's my door? Where's my door? I should have done the shelf. That's what I should have done. Okay, I'm lost. That's a window. There it is. Get low. I don't think this bear's coming back. It's been a while since I've killed him. Should be back by now, but it's not coming down this, through this area at, at all. Okay, well, not much more for us to do here. I think what we do is we just, uh, yeah, we eat these two pieces of meat. And uh, I really didn't need to carry this one. I didn't realize these were both over 400 calories. Eat these two pieces of meat, and then we try to sleep for a little bit here. We're not super tired, but we'll be all right. I should have kept fishing is what I should have done. Oh, well. Live and learn. I got distracted, unfortunately. Curse of playing the game in the middle of the day. People call you on the phone and stuff. I'm going to blame my mom. I'm throwing her under the bus on that one. Uh, For not keeping the, the fire going. All right. Let's see here. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. It's my fault. We're going to wake up fully rested, but that's okay. So we'll wake up before the 10-hour mark for sure. So, All right. Anyway, here we go. Stuff a lot of calories on board. Yeah, 300 calories. Would have been nice to get some extra condition going, but nope. Looks uh, like there's going to be another blizzard. Starving. I don't know why she says she's starving. So, man. Negative 34. Where you at, bear? Could you imagine trying to shoot an arrow in this? With this wind? I don't think that would uh, affect accuracy a little bit. Kind of like tied to this cabin, unfortunately. Luckily, have lots of uh, coal. I wonder how often the coal replenishes inside the mines. Does anyone know? For sure. I guess I could always look it up, but. Let me check out my match situation here. Where are my matches at? Are they all in the cabin? I think they're all in the main cabin. I have to go up there and grab another box of matches. Just so I feel happy. <laughs> Down here right now, I'm a little uneasy. So, yeah, okay. Might also make some coffee. And uh, since I'm right here, just store it here. And I should have... I have some... I uh, thought I had some... Uh, did I have some tea somewhere? Am I just tripping out here? Yeah, I guess not. I thought I had tea. Maybe it's in the cabin. Oh, well. Well, it's pretty horrible out there. We're just going to have to basically uh, spend a little time outside, come in, spend a little time outside, come in, try to try to split the time a little bit here. It feels like negative 11. Actually, it's not so bad now. I, th I think we're going to have to go hunt this thing down over here. Let's go to the main cabin. Uh, let me grab a piece of food over here. I have, I think I have plenty of rabbit over here, actually. Probably don't even need to. Oh, it's a beautiful night, though. We'll go over here to the main cabin. Eh. Take that with us. What's this? Yeah, we'll just take that with us. We should be fine. No time to mess around too much. I gotta try to generate some body heat. We do have a wolf over here to the right, the far right end of the screen. It's 
not super interested in it. He's further away than it appears when I have him like that because of my field of view. I have sort of a fisheye uh, lens effect going on just because I have such a wide f field of view. But he's actually... Oh, there's one right there too at the bite base of that rock. We're going to have to maybe run out ahead of him here and then cut across. I think maybe this bear is going to be our opportunity over here at Misanthrop. So maybe we'll uh, go up here, see if we have tea and some matches and then is he coming at me i think he is Can't feel my hands. i think he is yeah he's following my he's following my scent where he picked me up he's running out to where i was and then he's gonna basically uh follow my path so you see him do an abrupt turn here and oh nope he gave up on me There's a hypothermia risk. Side as quick as we can here. I'm gonna go up this way. I think it's a little safer. Just so I can take my scent away from where the wolves are. There we go. Now we just run up here and into the cabin we go. Yeah, all those pieces of rabbit meat out there. Still nice and dark outside. Yeah, we got lots. Oh, there's our all our coffee. Got some lantern fuel. Some rose hip tea. I think I can use another. Use another. Yeah, I'll use another one of these. Grab one of those. Oh, uh, there's a heavy hammer. Sewing primer. Have I not have I not read those? Do I still need to read those? Or are those fire let me see. Hmm. Let me check. I already researched it. Use. Oh. Wow, that'll almost take me up to level three. So that one's still good, and that one's still good. Okay. We'll take both those books back with us. What else can we get out of here? Survive the outdoors. Yeah, we'll take that book too. You know that guy who drank his own pee doesn't seem so crazy right about Some it. more matches. I know we got more matches stored stored somewhere else. We had a ton of them. So, all right, let's go over to this little. Wait a minute, where am I at? Oh, I'm so disoriented. Okay, that's okay. So there's the bed. I'm gonna do a turn like that. Radio and what's the radio on? Okay, shoot, I can't even see it. All right. I'll break down and use the storm lantern. Okay, that's all I needed to do. Okay. There's nothing there. Where did I put my other matches? Do I only have that many matches? No, nah, I got more than that. No, I have more than that. I got more than that. I had like several boxes of matches. Hmm. Well, I can't remember. That's okay, though. We have what we need for now. We'll run into the rest of them soon enough. Now I just need to warm up for a minute, and then we will make a run for it. Head on over to uh, Misanthrop. Do a little bit of bear hunting. Hopefully, hopefully we can find a bear. That's the, that's the tough part right there. Something to eat. Let's get something to drink first. And pass just enough time to warm up. All right, let's head out. Oh my gosh. Nasty. Negative 10. Okay, let's go. Hope I find a bear. Hope this isn't all for nothing. Whoa, 
Oh, too close to the water. Don't fall in air. That's behind us. The rabbit hopping out there. It's going to hop right into the ocean, I think. Oh. Rabbit, another rabbit, and deer. Yeah, we'll get up here, warm our bones up. Hopefully sun will be coming up soon. Yes, it will. Okay. Another rabbit going up the hill. Oh, sure, I'm getting cold. That's eh, all right. You're almost there. It's only negative 10. Ruined rabbit meats. A couple ruined trouts, but we can always cook those back, back to life. Ruined peaches. <laughs> All these rose hips and mushrooms. I always use that to help with cooking skill. Oh man. I just wish I knew where I, what I did with those matches. It's sort of bugging me now. They'll turn up. They'll turn up. I don't think I used any of these. Yeah, no. I didn't really store anything in here. Maybe maybe at the gas station. I doubt that doubt that though. I took most of the important stuff out of there. So now that we're here waiting for the sun to come up a little bit. Let's just go ahead and uh, pass just a little bit of time here. Alright. See if the sun's starting to come up. And the fog's lifting. Oh no, the fog's not lifting. I can see a little bit down there. Now, if I can make it down there. Oh, well, what I want is a clear sky so I can get a fire going inside of that. Uh, for a little while, but... Oh, well. Negative 12 out here. Not very comfy. Now, I could bring the bear up here. I've done that before, where I've kited the bear up here. If he's out. Those birds are circling. They're not the, the birds that follow the bear around. Okay, let's head back in. Looks like it might be clearing now that I can see the... I can see the, uh, the hills up there. enough time to warm back up again and then we'll head back out uh well seeing more of the hills but it's not clearing as fast as i'd like it to i think it's going to clear pretty quickly here in a second all right let's let's do a little adventure down this way see if see if the bear is down this way and maybe we can draw him back we have a little bit of food on us, so he might be a little extra attracted to us. Might as well grab some sticks while I'm at it.
There's his cave. I don't think I've ever searched this guy. Yeah, I have. Well, so far this is pretty disappointing. see the bear anywhere. I'm a bit disappointed. Let's head back and warm up. Maybe we'll have better luck back at our old spot. I was really, really hoping that we'd find one here. He might be down there asleep, actually. I've seen that before. Wolves are back there. Okay, let's get inside. Okay, let's head on back to the fishing camp. Or the fishing uh, village. Whatever it's called. Fishing Tuan. Alright. Inside, warm up. Head back. With our tail between our legs. My tail between my legs. It's not your fault. Okay. Let's see if that fog's totally lifted. I hope so. Be nice. Dang! It's even worse. Alright. Let's head on over. At least it means it's typically not as cold as it used to be. Normally fog kind of keeps the... The heat close to the close to the surface. Hi, rabbit. Bye, rabbit. You can't see everything sounds much more I don't know it's sort of the sound just sort of pops a little more I tend to notice the sounds more so I have to get over my dislike of the fog I can't basically it's fog or blizzard at this point Pick your poison. Well, a bit bummed about that. Fingers are numb. I don't want to go up in the mountains and hunt the bear up there, because even if I hit him, unless I critically hit, unless I get a critical hit, he's going to run off into the hills, and that's freaking dangerous. Coming across a wounded bear up in the hills, getting mauled by one, that's not fun. So, hey, we made it in just, oh, never mind. I thought we were going to get there inside just in time. Are these... Oh, I didn't know those were 100 percenters. That's cool. I can search this a little bit better. Hmm. Yeah, I must have the... Uh, I must have them stored back at the other place. Somewhere creative. Somewhere where I'd never forget to look. Okay, so... Well, it can't get any more foggy. At this point, let's take a peek outside, see how it looks. Eh, about the same. Bunch of ruined foods. Rabbit. Got a fish back here. Snare down there. 
And a snare over here. At least we got some, uh... At least we got ourselves some sticks. Quite a few sticks, actually, in this run. I think we're probably up to about maybe 40 sticks at this point. Got a lot. Gotta be careful. I'm a little stinky. And I am on the wolf side of the, uh, the hill over here. So he might start coming up this way. Just something to be careful about. Take a look at our stick situation. How exciting. 44. That's really close. Much better at estimating sticks than I am uh, matches, apparently. Okay, maybe I'll just tear up some curtains while we're at it. Can always use those. Come in handy. I'm sure there's plenty more. Yeah. All right, we're nice and toasty. Let's take a peek outside. Oh, it's such just horrible. Ugh. Might just have to travel back. Luckily, I'm pretty good at navigating this area. I just don't like traveling in fog. Because I could come down the hill and there could be a wolf right there. Okay, it's starting to lift. Yeah, it is. It's it's enough so that I can travel at least. Let me double check. Yeah, I got two little pieces of meat there. Not so little, but yeah, it's on the opposite side of the hill. So I do want to come down this way and then cut across. But at least I can navigate efficiently. So and it's two degrees. Let's try to get out of scent range here as quick as possible while they're having their morning or afternoon, mid, uh, what, mid afternoon social. Okay, now let's run in. Oh, there's a deer just hanging out there. Oh, they'll definitely go for the deer first. Ah, uh, I see my thirst. I see that. Well, I'm gonna focus my hunt over here for the for the uh, bear. I think I just need to be more patient rather than run around like a chicken with my head cut off, like I just did in this episode. I need to focus on this this area and uh, tell you. I think I'm gonna try to get out and get some more firewood as well. Maybe bust up some pallets or something figure something out I feel blessed when I look down at my temperature meter down there and I only see two arrows pointed down I'm like yeah it's a heat wave we're in a, we're in a single digits here where it feels like temperature here's my here's what's left if you look over there to the right of the the battlefield wolf battle yeah, I don't know if he's tracking me or not he might no I don't think he is not from this distance not with zero stink lines I gotta warm up somehow. oh man I'm gonna drop a bunch of sticks out here and then we'll Actually, oh, I thought I thought that was the bear right there for a second. That little thing's doing. Doesn't make much sense though, because he never comes out from behind that rock. He basically comes straight down this way, right here, straight down that little uh, that little path. Hmm. All right, we'll get inside and warm up before we dump any of our sticks out here before we mess around. No. 
we can focus on getting our condition back up to a decent level also. Alright, let's try to get in there. Still no bear. That's amazing. How rare is this bear going to be now? Uh, I mean, it makes crafting and going from the cabin into the fishing hut a lot safer, but man, goodness gracious. I'm still in disbelief. I, I know I had more matches than that. Oh, well, at least we have the magnifying glass. It's going to be our uh, savior for the long run. Hmm. Not sure. Maybe it's... No, I didn't put them in the... I didn't put them in the drawer at the at the fishing hut, did I? Seems weird. Oh, I, don't, I don't think, think I'll do that. I don't think I did that. I'm starting to get pretty tired, actually. It's only midday. I do a short nap. Yeah, I'll probably do that. A short little nap. And then. Yeah, let's go ahead and eat this. There we go. Okay, now let's have a short nap. Really didn't need to do that. That was overkill. 375 knot. Let's do that. Four hours. Fifty-nine days, eighteen minutes. Let's get low. Hopefully we get lucky. Come on, baby. Maybe the bear's only coming out at night. I don't know. Oh, I could eat a horse. Fourteen degrees. Oh, it's really nice out here. Might actually, might actually go to some wood chopping here, real quick. If I can, do I have a? Uh, do I have? Uh, I don't think I have enough sunlight. It's not clear enough. We can try. Let's try igniting this fire I have up here. Let's see here. Start fire. Oh, I get. I do have enough. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Do that. Then I can. Well, let's put the fire over here. Get started quick. Free fire. Gotta take it. We'll get the fire going. We'll do a little bit of wood chopping. Uh go chop some more wood up up the road just a little bit. And uh never know what'll happen during that time. I get lucky. Bear might make an appearance. Okay. Let's get some more fuel on there real quick here. I'm really shocked that I was able to... Should be plenty for a cedar limb. Oh, yeah. What's the temp going to be? Is it going to get warm enough for us? Come on, baby. Keep going. Oh, there we go. Now, as long as the ambient temperature here doesn't change that much, should be okay. So let's chop this up here. Looking good so far. All right. I'm going to take a torch from here. Now let's head on down to the next. Next piece of wood that we want to chop up. Glad it's not windy also. Okay, let's get another fire going right here. Magnifying lens. Nah, we'll use the torch. And we won't use a piece of cedar firewood or that. There we go, sticks. We'll use our sticks. Could just run around and just make 
one little fire per stick and just basically grind the uh, fire starting skill up here, but put this away here. Add fuel. Uh, hopefully the wind doesn't kick up here. Find out here in a second. Yeah. It's getting colder out here. That's the problem. Alright, I think we're gonna, uh, well, we might get one more. Might have to use a piece of cedar, but I think it'd be worth it. As long as the wind doesn't start kicking up here too bad. If it does, uh, we're gonna lose our free fire for our fishing tonight. Well, that didn't work. No luck there. Try again. Yeah, magnifying lens is probably not going to do it right now. I got to watch this fire as I'm cutting wood. If it starts to get, if I, if the snow starts to blow too much, I'm going to have to interrupt and Come grab on. a torch and hopefully make it to the fishing hut in time to get uh, some fishing in tonight. Okay. There we go. Let's add a couple sticks. Okay, I thought thought I saw wind, but it wasn't wind, it was something else. Fifty eight minutes. Let's give it a shot here. See what happens. It's a temp out here. Damn. Crazy. Yeah, I'm cold. Come on, get up there, temp. Is that as high as you're gonna get me? Am I really gonna have to use So let's use a uh God, I don't want to use a cedar. Let's try using reclaim, see if that bumps the temperature up enough. All this for some extra fir wood. 30 degrees, not enough. A couple more sticks. There we go. Okay, let's give it a shot here. Dang it. Alright, let's go. It's not what I wanted. That's what I was afraid of. I should have. I, sh I shouldn't have been greedy. It's all right. We'll head. We'll head in. We're pretty tired anyway. Let's just stop while I'm freezing to death in a blizzard. Get a drink. All right. Let's focus. These next couple days on re recovering our condition. I need to find a place to rest. Yeah, she's probably too tired to do much fishing anyway. Nah, I just hated to lose that fire for free, but at least we got a lot of firewood. And after this blizzard, maybe there'll be more in a few days. Alright, let's get inside. Yeah, I definitely need to recover our condition. It's starting to get too low for my for my comfort. 165, 300, 300, and some cattail stocks. So, yeah, we can eat these and have that. We'll be fine. I really don't want to go back out in this crap. So. Alright, well, I think it's bedtime. So let's do this. 300, 300. Yeah. Let's enjoy some sardines and a granola bar. and Let's just have some fun with it. Our ener it does an energy bar, wasn't it? And then we'll eat this before it gets too bad. It's 37. Should be alright. Okay. So 757. Hurry up and get some sleep. Quick, 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 quick. There we go. Now we get to wake up with four four calories. Spared, at least. Let's take a quick look. Two calories. So we got our bonus. <laughs> Just in time. Alright. Well, as you can see, our condition is in much better shape now. But we're not going to venture too far from the house here. 
Uh, we're just going to kind of take it easy today. Um, I, I split, up, split up my record time, so it's hard for me to tell exactly how far we are into this episode. But I'm pretty sure we're close to the hour mark. So I'm going to go ahead and end this very unsuccessful episode. Well, we survived. We survived, and we caught some fish, but we didn't get that bear. So I'm going to end this episode here. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching the series. I greatly appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Y'all take care.